I direct your attention to something quite extraordinary, quite incredible, quite unlike anything you may have experienced in your life. From abusing your wife live on stream? What's the worst thing that you've ever done to, to admitting somebody? that you killed uh, someone's dog? I killed someone's dog. Oh, I, I, on purpose? Today I've collected a wide range of degenerates for you all. I've collected six degenerates who either banned or had their careers totally ruined because of something they did. I tried to cut it down to only idiots you probably haven't heard of already since there's some other videos like this. So there's a few I didn't include even though they're actually really funny. But hopefully this will keep the video more interesting for those who have watched videos similar to this. Joe Daddy 505 originally started out streaming NBA 2K16 on Twitch. There isn't much known anymore about his streams or his Twitch because this all took place back in 2016. Although I don't think he was very big. Joe Daddy thought he turned off his stream when he immediately got up from his table and began to verbally abuse his wife. This devolves into physical abuse and the audio is honestly so sad I won't show the really bad parts in this video. But she begs him to stop and eventually says that she'll call the cops and he still doesn't stop his abuse. This was all live. Although since this all happened live, everyone watching was disgusted and the internet immediately found out. He was all over Twitter and Keemstar's drama alert even made a video about him which got news coverage. By this point, his career was over. I tried to watch Keemstar's video to see if I had more information, but it's been taken down, and there isn't any archives of it I can find. Joe Daddy later posted a fence, which is more of a, I was upset and I was Willie Duong, so it's okay, I abused my wife, it's fine, don't worry about it. After his poorly received response, he deleted his Twitch, never to be seen again. Oh, Scott, a small time streamer on website Twitch, admitted to killing a dog, while working as a veterinary technician simply because she didn't like the dog's owner? No, 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 yo, this sounds too ridiculous to be real. Are you fucking kidding me? No, Erika, I'm not kidding you. Twitch streamer Aqualadora actually admitted this live on a larger streamer's just chatting stream. Here's a clip. What about you, Aqua? What's the worst thing that you've ever done to somebody? Cam up in the, in the tiny chat, yeah. by the way, when you're in. What's um, well, I used to I used to work as a veterinary technician, so I I uh, once oh. killed someone's dog. Oh, and I, I, glow I, on purpose? Yeah, but no one knew because you know. Oh my professional, god! But, um, oh uh, no! Just, but, oh mean, my god, that's really bad. I'm gonna pretend like you didn't say that. Um, just say it was an accident. That is. <laughs> it was a, It was an accident. Oh actually. my god, Scojin, thank you for the four dollar and twenty cent donation. I appreciate oh my that. Thank you. Oh, okay, we're not gonna. No. I don't really want to know, but like, wait, was it? I mean, it, it, was, it was it? It was a really bad person. So. What I oh, I know, but like Jesus, like what, like the, what? But the dog, the poor dog, like come on, what? Like no, what? the dog was pretty shitty too. What? How old was the dog? I don't know, like uh, average age for it, four or so. Oh, oh my god! That poor dog. Don't even say no. Mm. Oh my goodness! No, Aqua. why'd you tell Wait, me that? What did you do? Why'd you tell Listen, me that? Let's, let's just move past. All right, this. we're gonna move on. We're At gonna the move end on. Here, she just tries to play it off, but yeah, that's just a girl with no remorse at all for killing a dog. She's fucking evil. In the video, she obviously acts unapologetical and uncaring for the heinous act that she did. And I cannot believe that she's genuinely trying to justify it just because the owner was shitty. This is a grown adult woman who is saying it's okay to kill someone's pet if they're a bad person. This whole story really is unbelievable. I have no clue why she would even admit to this on stream, but she obviously did. And this led to her entire online career to crumble apart. Somehow Twitch never banned her though. Her account is still on Twitch to this day, still with 1.2K followers. However, she hasn't streamed since she added herself. And as far as I know, she was never convicted. But if this all took place in the animal shelter she worked at in Santa Cruz, then she could possibly be charged with animal cruelty and convicted of a misdemeanor or a felony. But since this all happened back in 2018, she probably won't get charged. But you know who does end up getting charged and arrested? Idiot number three. Majestic Unicorn was streaming live on Twitch to around three viewers when she began to throw and bite her baby live on stream out of frustration. Ta ta! Are you listening just Taylor Swift? <clears throat> yeah. 
Oh, shit. Apparently, she was too busy playing Fortnite to take care of her baby. Fortnite balls, I'm gay, I like boys, I kidnap autistic kids. Like many controversies these days, things started on Twitter when one of her viewers posted the clip. One thing I hate about this clip is that there are actually other people in the room you can hear. And they don't make any comments or do anything to stop this. So, unfortunately, this kind of behavior was probably all too common in this house. After the clip came up on Twitter, people began to harass her, so she deleted her Twitter, probably due to the backlash. Soon after this, the Calgary police posted a response to their public Facebook, as apparently people had already found out where she lived and then called in a police report. Woman charged in child abuse investigation. A Calgary mother has been arrested and charged following an investigation by the Calgary Police Service Child Abuse Unit into an online video. On Tuesday, December 17, 2019, police received multiple tips from the public related to a live streaming video that had been captured through an online gaming website. The video showed a woman playing a game while roughly handling her young children. The woman is alleged to have slapped, pushed, and bitten her 14-month-old son during the course of the video. The online persona was tracked to a Calgary residence where the officers located a woman, a man, and two children. The woman was arrested and the children were taken to a safe location. So it sounds like she was uh, arrested for the shit that she did, but it sucks that the kids had to go through the system. I hope the kids aren't going through like the, the system. Hopefully they have a relative they can stay with because the system really is not that great in the U.S. Um, for foster kids. The 31-year-old woman has been charged with one count of assault. She will appear on court on Friday, January 17th, 2020. The woman's name will not be released to protect the identity of the child. We want to thank the public and the media for bringing this video to our attention. When you find a video such as this online, it is very important that you report it to the police and do not just share it throughout social media platforms. In this case, we were able to act swiftly to locate the children to ensure their well-being thanks to those who quickly reported the video, says Child Abuse Unit Staff Sergeant Peter Seigenhaler. That's a weird name, but yeah. Yeah. So basically, uh don't don't fucking do this shit for clout. Just report it to the police. If some shit is happening, report it to the police. So this one wrapped up pretty well. It looks like she was arrested and she's probably not gonna be um biting her kids anymore or slapping them. So that's good. That's very good. I don't know. I'm I'm just in disbelief about all these people doing this shit on camera in front of a live audience. Like, what the fuck are you guys thinking? Like, are you are you dumb? Do you think that your two viewers are just gonna be chill with you throwing and and doing all the and biting your baby because the baby wanted its mom? Like, what? I don't know. Just another delusional woman charged for child abuse. She's probably done other shit like this before, but this is the first time she was caught. But I'm glad that this is one of the cases in this video that ended up getting completely closed and hopefully she won't do this shit again i don't know at least she at least she got arrested for it at least she got it charged it's been two years since the video though so i don't really know what happened to the kids what they're doing i wish i could find out and make sure that the, everything's okay but there's obviously been nothing about the situation so far so this is all we got Okay, so I was basically going to make the same points this guy was making, but honestly, his video covers it perfectly, and I'm not sure if I could do it any better. So I'm just going to react to it on, on video and cut out the unimportant bits and then add my own stuff in, because I think he really covers this whole Smash God thing amazingly. Uh, shout out to Promoted. He's the person who made this video. He only has 10k subs, but this is 2.3 million views, so I don't know how. Yo, get out of here for a second. I need to talk to Chad. So it starts off, and he's just being aggressive, just, just telling her to leave for no reason. I don't know why. I don't know what the context was before, but I don't think yes, she did anything. Please, please, leave my stream and me alone. Stop it. Yeah. Leave us alone. Why are you telling me now? No, I'm not, but I need to talk to Chad without you here. This is serious. If I want to keep just please why are you acting like that obviously she's bummed because her lover is asking her to don't leave come for at no me reason like you know everything i you don't, don't know shit. exactly so keep your mouth shut you don't know shit Bring me okay he says so he's like why are you acting like you know everything when did she ever say anything or how does that even correlate to this at all none of this would involve being smart at all why are you acting like you know everything that was so i see I, that was so out of pocket and just like strange to, to see why are you acting like that for real D don't come at me like you know everything i you don't know, know shit. exactly so keep your mouth shut she's even trying to like be nice she's like I, I don't know everything i'm not trying to act like i know everything i'm just trying to have a conversation and he's just geeking bro he's off something you don't know shit 
Bring me my beer. My beer's right there in the living room, actually. I'm not fucking your maid, okay? Okay, and then, like the classic, I don't know, American he is, he goes, Give, Bring me my beer! And she's, she's like, I'm not your maid. Because he's obviously treating her like shit. Don't, do not treat your girlfriend like this. Bam. Bam, slap the shit out of her. After what happened in this clip, after that, he muted Mike and cut the video off for like five minutes. And then he came back, everything was fine apparently, nothing happened. And then all of a sudden, the people from LSF started coming in the chat and started accusing him of uh, beating his girlfriend. Then he started thinking how weird it was on why they would think that, even though it was kind of weird on what happened. And then he proceeded to end stream. Yep, it now, just ends straight. That, that's so that's back. he's guilty, bro. I don't know why, but he came back. Obviously, he came back afterwards. Um, I mean, it was stupid what he did, but it was stupid for him to come back. But he came back to try to fix things, I believe. Um, but just watch. And clear, I, I feel like he was definitely intoxicated. There's no way he, he, he was speaking weird and shit. After that, <clears throat> he then came back online. Don't know why. He got his girlfriend. His girlfriend came back in the room, looked stressed, and started talking about like, like, oh, I got, I got her right here, and like, to tell him, tell him that I didn't beat you. And she said, no, she didn't beat me. Obviously, me and my girls over here together, all good and shit. Guys, this is too much. Like, stop making up the stories. It's just is so annoying. Just don't lie. Can you just don't lie? Easier said than done, huh? But the, but then, as minutes pass, you see her, Jess, the girl, you see her starting to cry. And she was literally fine a minute ago. And she just started crying. Like, I, I, I don't know. I, yeah, no, he didn't hit her. He didn't hit her. This is just her. She's just having a bad night, guys. Come on, come on. That's not, that does not sound good to me at all. And then he he proceeded to blame her and the chat. I mean, I think. Yeah, it is. You caused this. It's kind of your fault. You can't say it's mine. I just try to chill. I just try to chill. <laughs> exactly, bro. I just try to chill. Motherfucker did not try to chill. <laughs> And then started hugging her for like 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes, and it was creepy. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with you guys, you know? Yeah, Jess, we're fucking good. And she's crying because you guys are the one that's posting unnecessary shit and stuff. I would never do anything to hurt her, right? Tell them I didn't beat you. Tell them, tell them. Then after that, one of the, one of the girls in the house grabbed the camera and just walked out so to end this video off we are gonna end it by making a compilation of all the creepy and suspicious shit throughout the VOD This part's so scary, bro. I, I don't even know what he's saying, bro. You can't understand what he's saying, but dude, it's like he's hiding what he's saying from the camera. It's so scary. I just want, I just want to chill, like, just, yeah, just chill. Let me chill, okay? And then after that, after that, his sister takes the camera away because obviously he's just putting on some retarded ass show that no one fucking believed. His sister takes the camera for damage control, obviously, but I'll keep it rolling. I'm sorry if I pause it too much, by the way. Just, this shit's so fucking... <clears throat> what? Uh... 
<laughs> Slam. Right in here, I'll show you guys. Let's do a room tour. I literally just cleaned it like last week. Dude, her eyes widen. Like wait, let, wait, let's see that again. Her eyes are like, oh fuck. <laughs> She's like, shit. <laughs> Yeah, I think you guys are tripping. It's just Hunter and Kenny jumping around. Door, it's so plain. Got my crystals. Got a mirror here. Yeah, Hi. guys, you know. This is my... And Hunter likes his little TV, so I put that there. Bro, what? She's just sitting on so it today. Hard. It, I like ate shit. I slipped and I ate shit. No way. You Thank you, JC. Oh my god. Thank you. So crazy, dude. Wait, did I just hear a scream? Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, we'll be back, okay? Okay, we gotta go. You can't hear anymore. This. Oh wait, towards the end you can hear All my right. voice. Well, we'll be back, okay? Yeah, you can hear someone screaming at the end. Bruh, and that's the whole video. Oh my god, this shit is so fucked up. This shit is so fucked up. Um, I believe he got banned for this. I'm I'm 90% sure he got banned for this. Oh yeah, Twitch streamer Smash God XXX banned after not allegedly, he did. He <laughs> after assaulting girlfriend on stream. Rip, rip. Let me see if I can get some more interesting information. Much of this video features Smash God XXX claiming his partner caused this. As the woman sits in tears, he even says that everything is fine with them. Near the end of the video, his sister enters the room and takes the camera out. There's nothing more they could have stated better. The video features him claiming his partner caused this. He is so fucking sick in the head. In his community discord, screenshots show the streamer attempting to bury his Reddit post about the situation. In one comment, he writes, please downvote that shit and ask people to report the post. <laughs> Y'all report it with me. Send me the link, please. Okay, so if you guys can't tell what this is, this is basically just him trying to convince his community that he didn't do it. And he's trying to get them to uh, remove the posts that were claiming that he did do it. So just fucking wild. On discord, he stated that he'll appeal the ban from Twitch because the clip showed him doing nothing wrong. Yeah, I did, but I'm appeal. I obviously got mass reported. Clip showed me doing nothing wrong. I'll see y'all in a couple months again on Twitch, maybe. Fuck no, bro. Uh, guess what, y'all? It's 2023. It's been more than a couple of months, months since this happened in 2019. And uh, we haven't heard a fucking word from him. Because he did it, bro. Honestly, so I don't think there's anything. I'll look around and see if there's more about him getting charged with assault, but I doubt he did get charged. I have a feeling that he just got off with a ban this time, but God, this is one of the worst ones. I hated this one. Um, I just came across this video, the YouTube video on my uh, on my page, and I watched it on my own time, and this shit was just horrifying to me. So I don't know. I just had to include it in this. His sister is a real piece of work, though. Knowing someone is helpless and refusing to do what is right and get her help is disgusting. And I doubt that she was getting abused as well. This really just seems like she was trying to protect her brother from getting in trouble. She obviously did not care at all for his brother's girlfriend's well-being or what the fuck was going on. Anyways, gang, that was the video. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I had a great time making it besides watching all those videos that she was asked and really fucking depressing. Uh, I have a public Discord, super chill there. And um, yeah, I upload videos semi-consistently about goofy topics and just gaming shit. So sub if you like this and have a good day. Peace.